Shalom, shalom. Man, it's Yom Day 1 and we getting at it on the homestead. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High, Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today, I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. So today, man, I'm working on, uh, I just finished up building a fence, uh, a gate right here, um, and I'll show you why. So right here, you see uh, my sunshade cloth, and I got all my, like right here, I got some lemon trees, and I got all of my um, vegetables in here so they don't get baked in the sun. And that is a 50 by 100 shade cloth. Uh, I got a video on how the army bought too many of them and they gave it away. That's a $3,000 shade cloth. All right. So over here, I have my goats and my chicken coops. And what was happening was they was jumping uh, the fence, which goats are known to do, jumping the fence and they would come over here and they would eat grass, mosey along in here. And back when I built this other fence line for my dogs right here, this gate wasn't originally here. This gate was originally right here, blocking this off so uh, nothing could come past. And the goats, since I used that gate that was originally here over there, the goats was pretty much walking clear past this one gate, going in there eating all the bell peppers, all the banana peppers. They was in there eating everything, just taking bites out of stuff. It was like a golden corral for them jokers. So uh, I was going to just simply go get another gate like this. But these gates are when you go to like your farm and uh, food, so, so like farm and stock supply stores, these gates is about one hundred and fifty to one hundred and seventy dollars. That's if you catch them on sale. So I said, you know what, man, I can go get me, you know, some good hinges, couple hinges, door hinges, heavy duty, like gate hinges right there. And I had, a, I, I got rolls of this chicken wire type stuff. And I had a, you know, I got a wood pile that um, I keep wood. If wood is good and still usable, I keep it. So I pretty much had, you know, I buy the, I buy the three, three and a half inch uh, T25 screws. I buy those by the biggest box you can get, you know, 3000 plus screws. So I pretty much took some lumber and uh, made a, a gate. So now, because pretty much I'll tell you, they pretty much uh, ruined about a third of my crop in there growing and stuff was doing good and what was gonna happen was, I was gonna let that stuff carry over uh, into the greenhouse and then uh, it would continue to produce. But now being late in the season, um, it's gonna be, you know, the, the goal was to save the stuff that we have and this was a urgent matter because the goats were going in there like once a day and once they got a taste for it, it's like they got hooked to McDonald's chicken nuggets. You know, kids love those things. So pretty much uh, used all of the the stuff that I had on supply. And I probably have, I think I had to buy about two or three pieces of two by four. Uh, and I had the rest of just scrap wood pieces. And I bought the hinges. And the um, that cost me, let me see, less than 20 bucks. Whereas if I would have had to buy a whole nother gate, man, it would have been 150, 170 bucks. So I'm the homestead, man, you know, when I see people giving away two by fours and sheets of plywood, I'm always on the hunt for those stuff on Facebook Marketplace, looking at free. Maybe somebody's got a whole pile of uh, uh, of, of plywood of two by fours and different size um, lumber, and they're giving away for thirty bucks. Depending on how much lumber it is, hey, I might go. Get, I might go get that. But um, this is a very knowing how to build things on a homestead is very critical because if you don't know how to build or fabricate anything you know uh if i would have had enough uh scrap metal laying around i got a welder 
I would have welded a gate, but I didn't have enough scrap metal and metal was gonna cost a lot more. So I went with the next best thing. And this gate is not gonna, is not gonna get too much use. You see, I put some, uh, some brackets on there and then I, I toe nailed them. I toe nailed all of the, uh, the three and a half inch screws, got L brackets on every corner. So it will do the job. Now it's not gonna be one of these gates where you can lean on it and bear your weight on it and talk to your neighbor. It's not one of those gates. But it will stop the doggone uh, goats from going in there, constantly uh, tearing up the crop, and we'll be able to uh, protect the crop because that was the goal. And uh, yeah, man, them goats was them goats was getting after it in there. And um, there was some stuff that they wouldn't eat, like the jalapenos. But everything else, if it wasn't spicy, they was tearing it up. So there you have it, man. Use what you have on a homestead. Look out for deals. You see, I got a goat, uh, a goat pen over there where I use pretty much, instead of using rolled wire, man, I use some, uh, some doggone pallets to make a fence line and some scrap wood and it will work. It might not look the prettiest, but it is functional. You gotta think, man, back in the day uh, when people were homesteading and actually living off the land, there wasn't all of this prefabricated stuff. You had to doggone, uh, you know, build as much as you could, cut a tree down you know, get the lumber off of it and then build as you go. So trying to get back to those old, those old ways and, and saving money where you can on the homestead, because I guarantee you, uh, a lot of people that try to homestead, they end up not having any skills to be able to build anything. They spend a lot more money, uh, trying to buy all this free fabricated stuff. And even that stuff will tear down and break down on you and you have to know how to repair it. You have to know how to fix it. You know what I'm saying? Like another thing I'm thinking about doing is uh, over time, these these bolts right here, they loosen up and they start to swivel around instead of holding tight. I'm thinking about sanding that down and just uh, welding that on there. That way it's permanently fixed and giving it a little bit more room so the clearance is not as tight right in there. So yeah, man, have to get after it. Yom day one, just wanted to show you what I was up to in the homestead. And hope you guys have a blessed rest of your week. Close to y'all ministries kicking it, gun barrel straight.